Hello, my name's Theo, otherwise known as SXYE, um, that's my music name, and this is my speaking voice. Um, a lot of people have been asking for the chords to my most popular song, Little Space, and I am here to deliver. I don't know why, but I am. Uh, disclaimer, I have no idea how making videos work. I make music, I make audio clips, not visual clips, so I don't know what I'm doing. This is on my phone on top of a picture frame in front of a window. Um, I don't know how to edit. This is all going to be one take because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> so um, basically, I'm going to be teaching it as um, the concert chords, concert ukulele chords, because I don't know what they're called on a baritone ukulele. Uh, as you can tell, I'm using a baritone ukulele to record this. Um, and um, if you don't have one, you could always use a guitar. The bottom four strings are the same as a baritone ukulele. So basically, I do know this one in baritone. Um, this is a D, but in concert ukulele, you make the G shape. <laughs> And that's the first chord, so it goes. So the starting pattern is down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, up. So it'll go. Or something along those lines. It really is up to you. Um, so it goes this chord, which is the G shape. And then you go down to G major 7 which is just you bar the bottom four, three strings on um, the second fret, so it, it's that chord. Then you go to a C, or on guitar or baritone, it would be a G. And then on top of that, you make the A minor, but with the C still there, or what would this be? E minor, so that would be. So all together, that would be. So now we're at the pre-chorus, and so the beginning of the pre-chorus, you start on a C again, or G on the guitar, and you go. Then you make the E minor shape uh, for a ukulele. Obviously, all of this is on the ukulele. I still don't know what I'm talking about in baritone. So you make the E minor shape, and it goes. And you go to G. Then G major 7 again repeat that. Then you go to the chorus, which is the fun part. So the strong pattern for this is down, 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 down. So it's just real basic, and it sounds real cool. So you go to a C, you play that. Then you go to a C minor. Then G. Then G major seven. So one thing I learned is that um, a C minor is just one up. A G major 7 and vice versa. So that either makes it really difficult or really easy to play depending on who you are as a person. Um, but I find it quite easy. So <clears throat> that'll sound like this. on the 
to hold on to or I'll slip right into little space so then at the end you just go instead of the strumming then um then the second verse is the same as the first um it rhymes uh so basically it's just which I assume you are because you don't have the karaoke version of the song wink wink <laughs> then you just do the chorus but instead you just pluck each string so it'll sound like this what are the words to my own song I'm probably gonna delete it. It's a permanent thing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I hope that you stick around because new stuff is coming very soon. Okay. Bye bye.